The inquest into the shooting of Mark Duggan, whose death sparked the London riots, has heard claims police shot him in self-defence. The 29-year-old was killed in Tottenham after being pulled over by officers. Police say he was under surveillance as they believed he was collecting a gun from an associate. From the inquest, our correspondent Simon Harris reports. The picture isn't sharp, it's not easy to see what's happening, but as a bus makes its way along Ferry Lane in Tottenham, its onboard camera captures the scene of a shooting. Mark Duggan has just been killed by a police marksman known as V53. Today, this video was shown to an inquest jury. In August 2011, Mark Duggan was under surveillance by Operation Trident. He was suspected of being in a gang called TMD. The inquest heard how police officers followed him from Leighton to Tottenham and then, using three cars, forced the minicab he was in to stop. They believed he had a gun. As Mr Duggan emerged from the car, a policeman fired two shots. The jury heard the case would raise a number of key questions. Was the police operation planned to minimise the use of lethal force? Was it absolutely necessary for the police officer to fire the lethal shot? And was Mark Duggan holding a gun when he stepped out of the minicab? Ashley Underwood QC, the counsel to the inquest, said the police marksman claimed he was acting in self-defence and that Mr Duggan was holding a gun in a sock. Mr Underwood told the jury the police officers intended to detain Mr Duggan. It was never their aim to kill him, that's what they'll say. V53's account is that Mr Duggan had a gun in his hand and he was bringing it into the aim position. Yet it was found between 10 and 20 feet away. Mr Underwood suggested the gun may have been thrown or kicked there later on by someone doing first aid. The jury was also told Mr Duggan had the drug ecstasy in his blood. Duggan family supporters like community leader Stafford Scott arrived at court wearing black t-shirts bearing slogans. Tottenham MP David Lammy was in the public gallery. It's hugely important for my constituents in Tottenham, for the Duggan family and friends, but I think for the whole country that we understand the circumstances that led up to Mark Duggan's death on that August evening that led to four days of rioting across our country. Members of Mark Duggan's family were warned evidence about his wounds would be upsetting and photographs would be gruesome. The inquest continues on Thursday when the jury will be taken to Tottenham. Simon Harris, ITV News, at the Mark Duggan inquest.